What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boop. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I can wait all day, Danny. Open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I... Didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. She's got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile of yours. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. Now, I have to get going. I'm sorry Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Piper, you're back! Hey, 
kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Here's your headline. Local woman says no. Gonna be like that, huh? <sighs> Smart ass. Fine. We'll do this later, but I want that interview, got me? Piper. You ready for that interview now, Blue? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Behold, I am immortal. You know, I guess you kind of are, aren't you? Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that, that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Hey, Piper. Head my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that, or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Hey. Hmm? Always on good behavior, aren't you? I try to be? Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? 
Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Scared, huh? Could've fooled me. I'm pushy, not crazy. Honestly, these days I'm more scared for my sister. I don't know what I'd do if something happened to her. But I'm not the only one with something to lose. That's why people deserve to know what's out there, good or bad. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh... One day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night, let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So should we head out? I was just wondering where you and I stand. Things aren't bad. <laughs> because believe me, you'd know if they were. But I suppose we could be doing better. You really do have a talent for finding trouble, don't you? It usually finds me. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Getting in trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, Blue. That's, that's awfully sweet and unexpected of you. So you want to get out of here? I was just wondering where you and I stand. Well, I gotta say, I like the way you've been handling yourself out here. Commonwealth's not an easy place to do the right thing, but somehow you manage. Your thoughts? I like my pistols like I like my company. High caliber. 
talking about you, Blue. Is everything all right between us, Piper? Well, it's awful nice to be traveling with someone who's got their head on straight. So, I'd say I'm good. Your thoughts? You sure know how to show a girl a good time. Piper. You know, I still really appreciate the fact that you're not an idiot. Took you this long to notice, huh? No, I, I didn't mean like... <sighs> I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. Wait, become you? Like, replace you? <gasps> oh, is Nat a synth? Oh, well, there's something I'm gonna lose sleep over for days, but no, not like a synth. More like she's gonna start following in my perilous footsteps. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister. Dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking, maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, She'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl, an all-around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? You just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away, because you might lose them forever. You're right. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. <laughs> You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Just friends, huh? Uh, well, yeah. I guess. I, I, th I thought so. Unless, you know, something changes. God, did it get hot in here? But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you wanna hit the road? Hey. What you got for me? Piper. So, you know, going over it in my head, that whole conversation we had where I pretty much said you were my only friend, did that sound nuts? I don't think it was any more than usual, though that's a pretty high bar. Oh, good. So long as it's consistent. It's just been a long time since I've had someone like you in my life. Hell, might be I never did. I just wanted to say thanks. I really don't think I could ask for a better friend. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I... I mean... <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just... Blue. I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well, hmm. Well, I think you're perfect too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I. I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on, let's not keep the world waiting. Hey, doll. I was just wondering where you and I stand. Someone sounds a little nervous. <laughs> Well, you've got nothing to worry about. This is the happiest I've been in a long time. I'm out here with you. What else could I need? I just wanted to check in, make sure things were all right between us. I'm with the person I love, helping those in need. I couldn't imagine a better life. Are things all right between us? Honestly? There's no place I'd rather be right now than by your side. Is everything okay between us? Honestly, I feel a bit guilty. 
Why should I get so lucky when so many folks have it so hard? But other than that, I'm great.